today we've got James joining me and his absolutely epic show van. Just before we get into the video, just to drop a little bit of context as to what this is, this is a brand new chapter that I've added to the channel. Um, something I've been talking about for a little while off the back of this studio. And we're going to be featuring other people's vans on the channel and having an in-depth chat about that projects and that journey. I'm pretty excited to get into it, but before I do, don't forget to subscribe, like and share these videos, it really helps the channel grow. And also drop it in the comments below if you've enjoyed this particular content before you go. I'd really be interested to hear and whether you want to see more of this on the channel. Anyway, let's get into it now. Okay, welcome back. So James is joining me today with his absolutely superb van. It's something that I've wanted to get on camera for some time now. And with this chapter that I was talking about bringing to the, the channel, I couldn't have started off with a better van and person. <laughs> so welcome, James. Thanks very much for coming oh, in. Thanks for having me, yeah. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, well, we've good. seen your van at loads of these shows because your van's always cropped up in my videos and little snippets and stuff with all mm. the work you've done. But um, what I wanted to do was just kind of break it down on where you started and where that van came into your life mm -hmm. and the journey that you've been on with it. Because there's quite a lot to it with your van, isn't there? Yeah, so it started, I was always into cars. I never really had interest in vans. Yeah. Um, so I borrowed my brother-in-law's T5 as I needed a work van because mine was in for repair. So he lent me his van. Um, and I started driving around in that, enjoyed it, spoke to a few people in my kind of trade who, you know, got the vans as well. And what, what line of work are you in? So I own a carpentry and construction company. So yeah, vans are essential to our yeah, line of work. You're used to driving one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously, as I said, I was in the car scene for a long time. Yeah. But then times change with family children, yeah. mortgages, so yeah. you kind of step back on that. You get old. <laughs> yeah, you do. So when I had the VW Transporter on loan, um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then I kind of looked into them yeah. and seeing kind of things you can do to them. And it was an ideal family van, really, yeah. to yes. make it as a camper. Yeah. So I went on the look to buy one, um, searching all, you know, eBay, Facebook, uh, one did come up on Facebook yeah. uh, in North Wales. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a Friday I seen it come up. This is the, your van? Yeah. So, yeah. The, so, right, okay. So, basically, yeah. it was, it come up on Facebook Marketplace it was yeah. in Wales. I yeah. messaged this guy on, like, Friday morning. Um, I said, can I come and view it? And he said, by all means. Um, he says, I've got 20 or people lined up to view it. Yeah. So, I finished work early, drove up to Wales, not telling the wife. She yeah. knew nothing about it. No, oh. and, I, and one of my work colleagues come up with me because I said, if I buy it, I need you to drive the works van home. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's, I went up there. It was, I just wanted a clean panelled van. Were they as hard then? Because how long have you owned it? Um, I've had that van now for probably five years. Five years. So yeah. I'm guessing then I know the answer to this because I was about 
four and a half years or, or so ago I purchased mine, but they were hard to come by and they, they weren't up for sale for long, were they? No, well, like, the the prices were no were near like they were now. No. Like, that you could get value for money. Going, yeah. You know, back then. Yeah. Um, and all I wanted was a straight, clean, panelled van. Yeah. Uh, so the one I bought was an electrician's van. Oh, right, um, yeah. So, so it probably hadn't been carrying too much weight and no, stuff then. No, it, it, was, it was relatively clean. Yeah. It had potential. Yeah. So, and originally I wanted to just buy the van, turn it into a day van for the family, and that was it. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and that's what we did. We, we, we got windows in it, um, you know, did some bits and pieces, used it for a little bit. You did the windows yourself, I believe. Yeah, cut the windows in myself. Again, yeah. in my trade, cutting material all the time should yeah. have been a problem. But when you're cutting a quarter out of a van, it's a little bit more nerve wracking. For sure. So, I, I'm a braver man than me because yeah. I couldn't have done it myself. Yeah. And, uh, so the side door was the first one to try because if, yeah. if I cut that short, you can Shut get a door, door. <laughs> but still that's a big big but yeah it's probably the sensible way to go yeah um yeah. so yeah because if you what i noticed when we were in your van is that you've got uh, now i think about it you've got glass is it on the outside you've got glass all the way down haven't you what's on the side windows yeah it's just on the rears not not faux panes all the way down right yeah so you've got them on the doors yeah but then the third row as we call it are panels yeah 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 yeah, the panels, with you. yeah 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 so it, we kind of made it up as we went along when we started with it yeah didn't really know where we we're going to go with it and i wanted to do as much as it myself as i could because i just i enjoy doing it you know yeah you know i'm not a converter or anything like that but i like to put my time and the effort to do it the way i want to do it yeah um so yeah so got the windows in um and then i did do a facelift on it which some people don't like but so so the the van that we're looking at which is t5.1 it's a t5.1 and it's actually then so yours was a pre facelift yeah. t5 t5 yeah right yeah. just it was just on the turn before it went into the T5.1. Got you, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I just really like this, the front end of a T5.1. Me too, that, that's my favorite yeah. front end. Yeah. Always has been, always will be. Yeah. I own a T6, as you know, and I'm telling you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. that front end. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's each to their own, but it, yeah. it works for me. So yeah, we, we did that. Um, inside was very basic to start with for the first year. We yeah. Just basically, Put a rock and roller bed in it. Yeah. So we had seats in the back, obviously crash tested one for the children to go in. Yes. And we put huge big wheels on it, which were awful at the time, but they looked good, you know. Well, I thought they did in the time. Yeah. So we were happy doing that campaign with the kids and stuff. And then it was only until we got introduced to like some shows. Yeah. And then you start looking around and you're thinking, I quite like the stance and fitment look yeah because i used to like that with my cars yes so if i could kind of bring that into what we've got now yeah um so then yeah stuff hence the air ride that's now on there yeah so stuff changes rapidly which is the max max load max load that's yeah. it yeah 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 so me and max load kind of bumped into each other when yeah. I was kind of like looking for air, I was shopping around on the market. Didn't really know too much about the van air scene at the time. Yeah. Um, I knew, you know, airlift for all the cars I've had and stuff, that was great. Yes. Um, I'm actually we're trying to get onto the scene and we kind of had a meeting yeah. and a discussion of where we could go with a kit and yeah, I was they, basically. They, they used to manufacture one at this point then for that type of van. That they they had one made, but no one had fitted it. All ah, right, so you were one of the first so people I said, to have I'll max it, yeah. air load, yeah. max load, max load, max load air yeah. system on the on a yeah. transporter then. Yeah. Oh. So I was the first in the UK then to put it in, and then from there we got it right. You know, yeah, there was adjustments needed to be made, um, and then from there max load then invited me to work with them. Yeah. So for the last three years, I've been working alongside Max Load um, as a UK ambassador. Nice. To promote all their products. And yeah. Advise people of 
install on the kits and stuff so, like that. So in, with that being said, would they have a system for all transporters now then? Yeah, yeah, so all platforms. You know, yeah. even any platform on a car, platforms on the vans, yeah. T28, T32s. Nice. Um, so yeah, they cover it all. They've come a long way now in like the three years. Yes. You know, they're, they're, they're up with other yeah. competitors now. Yeah, um, it certainly sits really well on yours because yeah, it, it yeah, it's it's a good ride, you know. It's um, and the good thing is because it's every, everything's built in house, you yeah. keep the price down. Yeah, because a lot of people say, why is it so cheap? It's like because it's all built in house. So it's cheaper than airlift then. Like yeah. I've got airlift on mine. It's a cheaper system to buy. Yeah, so your whole package kit is, yeah. is a lot cheaper. Yeah, nice. so we're, we're still down as a really competitive price. Yeah, to, yeah. To well sell. price is important and yeah. people will. Well that's it, if you're building to budget or something like that as well, you know, you've got to yeah. manage it right, yeah. you know. So yeah, so yeah it's uh, it's been a, a, a good journey with them, I must yeah. say. Yeah, um, it's, it's pretty cool that you're an ambassador and involved yeah. that deeply with them on the air suspension. Yeah. And yeah. obviously your right. van, it's everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's basically got them going in the in the T five scene. And yeah. um, when you look at their factories in China, yeah, their work uniform is like my van on the back, and you know, and they got loads yeah. of staff. And, That's you know, cool. It's, that would it's, be awesome. It's really cool. But yeah. it's just it, and magazines have pulled you in. Yeah, yeah. So uh, VW bus. Um, Front cover, main feature on that. That yeah. was uh, two years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then VWT then approached. Yes. And then I got main feature and front cover with them as well. Nice. Um, so obviously there was changes done between the two of the uh, the, the folk shoots. Yeah. Um, different yeah. to the van. Yeah. Did you um, you facelifted it? Yeah. Yeah. So and, and yeah. then it went on to the suspension. Yeah. So. Yeah, we facelifted the van, uh, and then from there I put coilovers on. Yeah. Just to get it down a little bit better, but yeah. it didn't look great. You know, yeah. it, it wasn't very practical. They were a bit clunky and hard, especially when the van was loaded with all your stuff. It was a bit, you know, the kids were bouncing up and down in the back. And yeah. It, it wasn't great, but yeah. You know. So yeah, so they come off, and then go back to the air. Then we fit the air. Um, me and a good friend of mine, Jason Hammond. Um, yeah, he gave us a hand. Uh, we got it all fitted in the weekend. Yeah, um, and then yeah, sent pictures to the Maxload team, and they were like, "It's come out great." Yeah, um, it looked okay, but then I wanted it to go down a bit more. Yeah, so yeah. then you go down to more mods and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but that come in, I think, another six months after. Yeah, of running. It's a journey, end. isn't it? It's yeah. You've yeah. yeah so got the air on it we were happy at the time you know um finished some of the interior went into like looking at cupboards and stuff like that yeah and that's where i chose to build my own units in there yeah so you actually said that outside um the cup the um kitchen and all the units that are in there you yeah. manufactured that yourself yeah yeah so obviously carpenter joiner by yeah. trade yes so, it's not that difficult really for me and no. all the stuff you can buy you know it's it's straightforward because we're kitted up for it yeah so yeah i just bought lightweight furniture ply yeah um the color we wanted yeah all the edge and trims just routed them out cut all the doors in all the nice. edge profiles bit of a one of a kind one then because if you made it yourself it's not a pre-manufactured kit you've got it exactly yeah that's right yeah i just i didn't want it to look like it's come out of a conveyor belt yeah of vans where yes. you can just go and buy a camper van but there's 20 the same yeah I didn't want that no so i thought i'll build my own and you know just put our own set and obviously my wife's been a massive input in the color and stuff yes. like that so I've got to keep her involved to let yes. me keep buying stuff for it. She's got the right eye for the colours and the schemes. And yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, and when I was into the car kind of scene, she wasn't that interested because it was, you know, it was track car stuff. Yeah. So it's only like me. Yeah. Couldn't involve the family. Yeah. But now it's like, you know, I can involve the kids. You yeah. Know, the wife enjoys like all the all the weekends away and stuff yeah. like that, and it just yeah. ticks all the boxes. 
Yeah, they tend to sort of, as it's a camper, you go on a lot of camping trips, you've said. Yeah, yeah. You bring in the kids through the journey with the memories as well. 100%, and yeah. there'll be photos, now, doubt, no doubt, that you take, same as I do, where your kids are involved and yeah. you'll have those for years to look yeah, back on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because, like, you know, when you look to go on a family holiday with young kids, it's yeah. so expensive. Yeah. And the young kids don't even know where they are half nope. the time. And, you know, you can go, it's freedom, really. You can go yep. wherever. You can just pick up on a weekend and head out. Yeah. And yours is, I, I, obviously going in it earlier, it was so surreal to look round and see the camping kitchen there because mine, as you know, doesn't have yeah. that. Yeah. And, um, and it was nice, yeah, that, yeah. And the pop top as well, having that yeah. and standing up in that, that was a real eye-opener that you possibly made me yeah. want one now. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hadn't. I wasn't yeah. standing there thinking that was on the menu. Yeah. But I have to say, after standing in it today, that, that was does, really good. Yeah, it does change it a lot once you've got that space. And yeah. Especially we've got the bed as well. It comes down for the two yeah. little ones to go up. Yeah. It just works well for us. Yeah, um, so you can sleep two down yeah. and two up. Yeah. Yeah, That's great. Right, yeah. So it's a four berth type yeah, of Yeah, yeah, basically. There. And then we have the awning, what goes on the side. So yeah. it was mainly in the evenings, like when you've got little kids, I want them to know they're safe inside. Like, yeah. I wouldn't want to be in an awning there in the van if they needed yeah. as well. So Yeah, and just... my wife said exactly the same thing. That there's no option on that, that we're either all in the awning yeah. or we, yeah. if we figure it out. You could go without the awning and just camp. Yeah, yeah. Pop yeah, the top definitely. in. Oh, yeah, it's like it's off-grid as well now. Got a big leisure battery, Yeah, which is powered by solar. Uh, oh, you've got solar powers? Solar panels. panel on the roof, yeah. Cool. And then split charge as well. Yeah. Split charges. Yeah. So the solar panel draws a lot of power in. Uh, yeah. Keeps everything topped up nicely. Yeah. Uh, diesel heater. Yeah. Straight off the main fuel tank as well. Yes. So it's all it's got everything there. There's nothing missing from that then, is there? No. And, and the good thing is like where we're from, we're down from Devon, so we've yeah. got Dartmoor literally a stone throw away from us. Yes. So we can just go up there like on an evening, have a barbecue, nice. spend the night. A good and spot of the any world. Power. Yeah. yeah. So. Speaking of that, obviously you've, you've come a long way today. Yeah. And yeah, um, good. It, the van looks absolutely epic. Oh, uh, thank so it's nice to just single in on yours. But um, yeah, going back to the camping side of things, you don't have a cooker or a fridge in yours no what's no. the approach there so the, we didn't want a, a hob in there yeah uh, mainly i didn't want to cook in the van we got sure. like a kadak so we do all the cooking yeah and i think the hobs for us is just not big enough to cook anything when we're away anyway yeah so we'd rather have a bigger worktop space for the yeah. kids to put stuff on or whatever yeah um and the, and the mountain the stuff we cook for all the family we do a pile of and yeah the caddocks they fold away in a bag anyway yeah and it's just what we kind of chose to do i just was interested to see yeah. what your thoughts are why you haven't got a hop in there because i'm the same i wouldn't want to cook in our van yeah and um, it's, it's mainly for like the storage as well like you know we wanted more storage for the kids yeah. stuff and yeah. clothing yeah we didn't want to carry like all the gas bottles in the cupboards and stuff like that yes um so yeah and to be fair we, we'd like a barbecue if it's sunny and if it's raining we, we don't really go out anyway if it's no, raining, like, you, know? you know exactly so. so it's more emergency anyway and you probably yeah. go to a pub yeah. yeah and then the fridge we haven't got a fitted fridge but we got a a cooler box yes which we just plug in and take yeah. away yeah yeah so again yeah. it was um which means you probably take it with you yeah yeah, yeah that's it mm. so it's just a Everything can be unplugged, taken out of the van if needed. You know, yeah. nothing's fully fixed and secured in there. Yeah. But um, yes. yeah, yeah, it was just the way we kind of planned it for us. We just wanted more cupboard space to fill with rubbish, really. Yeah, so, as you do. If yeah. you've got the space, it's going to be filled. I noticed you wouldn't let me open the doors when yeah. we were filming it. Because you can't shut them Because again. it was going to fall out, which is yeah. fair enough because yeah. I'm no different. Yeah. But there's another element to talk about is the seats. They are some serious seats. Yeah, so they get a lot of attention, those yeah. ones, yeah. They're How did they come about then? Well, it was when I was at Camper Mart, we had the bench seat in there last year and the single seat. But when I was looking at a few vans, I really liked the single captain seats. Yes. So that was something I, I was going to do. Yes. But trying to find the right seats. So, you, so originally yours had the two and the one. Yeah. And um, then you, so you've, that's another reason why you go that direction then is that you've essentially yeah. got the captain seat idea. Yeah. But with some fairly it high was, end seats. Yeah. It was just trying to find the right seats for the van. Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah. Well, you've seen what's in there now. They're a, a full carbon fiber. Yeah. Have a 911 GT3 Porsche. Basically. Is that where they're from? Yeah. So that's basically Crikey. what they are. Um, good friends at Brands Performance sorted them out for me. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I spoke. Um, to Sakid there and I said looking for some seats and he goes well, we got these sent me some pictures 
And I was like, can you send me the price and don't tell my wife? Yeah. And we'll go from she there. She might get to know about it in a minute. Oh, she, 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 she'll know already now, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so they sent me the seats down. Yeah. Uh, they want a straight fit. So I had to buy the, the captain bases. Yeah. I had to make my own rails. Yeah. Uh, box section steel. Yeah. Align them all, put them all together. And then fit in, testing and trying. But yeah, yeah they, they fit. Perfect they, they seem to be great. I've had to, obviously riding in it today. They they felt like nice seats as they well. They do hug you. Obviously, in, yeah. that makes sense now if they come out of a Porsche. Yeah, they, they they do grip you. And some people say oh, they're comfortable, and we do a lot of miles in them, and they are comfortable seats. Yeah, you know some bucket seats, you do feel like you're you're a perfect L shape. Yeah. But they are coming and they're reclining as well, so you can recline back in them. Um, That's unusual actually to have a racing seat like that, but you can adjust the cut yeah. the, the incline. That's actually yeah. a massive And they're very light as well. There's no yeah. weight to them, which is you know, I was always trying about save weight on the van as well. Yeah. Everything was trying to be light as yeah, possible. Because it's deceptive actually when you start plowing stuff into mm. it, how much you've loaded into 100%. it. So, I notice you can turn them round as well, so that's cool. They're they, they fully spin round fully spin. Uh, and face in, which is great. Yeah, so. and it that just allows a lot more open floor space in the van yeah. so when it's turned and you've got the kids you know they're on the rock and roller bed and we're in the, you can sit in there comfortably yeah and not feel like you're all sardines yeah in, there's so. loads of room felt like a loads of room yeah interestingly space. when you speak that i guess you have a table in the middle yeah yeah there's a table in the middle which yeah. um we clip on the back door yes so, that's what that was on the yeah, back door yeah, yeah so then that clips onto the kitchen cupboards yeah and so it's quite cosy in there in the evening, you know, the heater on and stuff like that. Usually yeah, you've got a dog in there as well. Oh, you've got a dog in there too? Well, we've got a pug, so yeah. I don't know if it is a dog. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. but yeah, so yeah. she comes away a Completes lot. Completes the family. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and that's it. It is a family van. I haven't built a show van. Sure. It's far from it. Sure. You know, there are some stunning vans out there which are show vans. I built a van to be a little bit different. Yeah clean look everybody i notice undervalues their own product mm. the fact is the shows call on you because it's been in a lot of my videos yeah it's, it's been quite popular it's, it's, it's quite camper well mart yeah. uh it's been uh well it was camper mart oh mcdubs yes been in there um, where else have i seen it um is it dubtoberfest as well that's right yeah yeah and uh, you've won something yeah that was just uh best t5 in there just yeah. the best t5 best, 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 best t5 <laughs> that that, um, that to clarify that means it's the best t5 there yeah 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 <laughs> probably the only t5 there to be fair <laughs> no but, i think there were more yeah, but there was, there it's a while a ago i can't remember but it was there worthy was a, of the award yeah. for sure and yeah it's been in like you know van west has been yeah. in the shows there and stuff it, it has been in all kind of the shows all last year was a busy year yeah uh but yeah it's just trying to keep up with everything obviously yeah. family life yeah you know business trying to hold it always it's very difficult and that's the thing with um with us as well like you you've got family you can't take it to every show can no you, you can't no and it's like you know when you know we go camping that van is full of mess yeah you know it'll be sand everywhere yeah the bits everywhere. you don't see yeah it, it's like it go, it's got to live through it yeah. and stand up to that but that i've built it for that sure because i want the kids to enjoy that yeah you know? i don't want them to say right don't go in it you yeah know? sometimes i do but yeah that's exactly why i'm excited that you brought it along because if if it was just a show van as nice as that would be it would have it would just be the show van but mm -hmm. it's actually an epic van that you're driving regular taking on holidays and putting it through the test of time and it still looks like that yeah and as you said a lot of people when you're driving here are taking photos and yeah. turning heads yeah. it's clearly a head turner yeah it's, and again it's like going back to my car thing i always wanted to have my own point of mark on it like you know yeah so i didn't want it to be a standard no. looking vehicle you've painted it haven't you yeah because yeah. when you bought it what color was it it was white right but there was probably like seven shades of white on it yeah. so <laughs> it's it, a new film coming yeah, out yeah two yeah. weeks yeah <laughs> um so yeah it, it was a white van yeah always wanted to keep it white yeah um the theme was white and black that's yes. what i wanted to look yeah so once i did the majority of the work um, basically, once the pop top was fitted, uh, cupboards were all in. Um, it was looking nice, you know. It was, it was all looking great. But then, when you start looking around the van, you think, "Oh, that ain't good. That's not good. This is not good." I've decided then to maybe look in to get a, a respray. Yes. On the paint. Yeah. 
Um, so, good friend of mine, um, Jared, who owns Dip Demons. They do a lot of custom yeah. work. Yeah, down um, by where you live. Yeah, down yeah. in Devon. Yeah. Um, I went and chatted to him, wanted some ideas. I said, look, I want something more. You get a shine and a bit of a pop in the sun, but I want to keep it white. Yeah. And he's like, it's quite difficult because white's a bright colour to get any like polished lines on it. It's very difficult. Yeah, I got can a black imagine. Car it's polished, a tough colour to yeah. paint. Yeah, so we come up with the like a white pearl coded off the new Nissan GTR Skyline. Right. The new one. Yeah. So it's a paint coded off that. Ah. So it's a three stage pearl paint. So me and the wife chose that colour. They painted the van, yeah, um, and the results at the end were amazing when it was well, done. Well, that, uh, hopefully that will come across on camera because some of the shots I was making earlier, which I'll hopefully throw up now, that paint, that like metallic, yeah. pearlescent sparkle was yeah. one of a kind. Yeah, and a lot of people, when they see it in shows now, they, you see it on Instagram and stuff like that, and they think it's just a white van. Yeah. But when you see... In the flesh. Yeah. That's it, why I'm hoping yeah. that my camera will show it up as it as it looked today. Yeah. I think it will. Uh, but if it doesn't, it's it's superb on the pearlescent with that sunshine hits it and yeah. following you back yeah. today when the sun was hitting it, the golden sun was like that's very standout different yeah. to just a white van. That's very right. Different. And if you park it next to a, a quite a bright white van, it yeah. looks quite creamy colour. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it it changes in the light, you know, depending if the sun's on it, it can be really bright, pearlescent. Yes. But when the clouds go over, it can look quite well, you actually, the wheels that are on it now that we've shot today, because yeah. uh, in other footage, I've got different types of the wheels you've got. You've got the banded steels, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I've got the R&R &R banded steels. Yeah. Which, they're my favourite wheels, to be yes. fair. Yes, yeah. Um, and then this year, I wanted a bit of a change. So I went with the Navis Unknowns. Yeah. Um, and they're quite unique because that's a brand new wheel, isn't it, from Navis? Yeah, it hasn't been that long, yeah. So, no. yeah, it's, it's not been on the market too long. Yeah. Um, I ordered them in white. Yeah. As you've probably seen some pictures. This is where I was going with that because yeah. I saw the picture and because they were in brilliant white, which you might find a standard white van in, yeah. you could really see when you first fitted them the two different colours. Yeah. Um, well, it's basically if you had like fake tan yeah. and you had white dentures, yeah. that was the contrast. Yes. It was so like off. Yeah, it's a pop in, yeah. uh, in, in a way that you didn't like it. No, and it, yeah, it just didn't look right. I yeah. tried to look at it and try to think that looks good, but I was like, nah, it just doesn't sit. So the wheels come off again, tires off, took them to my friend again, Jared. Yes. And I said, I need these coded. Have you got any more of that paint left? Yeah, <laughs> and they did. So yeah. yeah, they did the three stage power on the wheels. So everything's color coded, it all sits nicely. Yeah. A nightmare to clean, absolute nightmare Are to they? clean. Oh, it's white wheels with loads of little in dentations and see that's my pet hate as people if they follow my channel of watching this they'll know that i've sold wheels on the basis that i can't handle the washing yeah because yeah. i like my vehicle clean as much as you do but if they're too labor intensive yeah. i've had to move them on yeah but you're saying actually those wheels are a bit of a nightmare to they, clean. Are, they are a nightmare to clean um the bandage will go on again very soon yeah. i just love those wheels yeah easy to clean yeah and they just sit so well yeah you know, I, I do like the dish look and the that's stack a look. uh your the the one that's on it now is a 20 inch wheel 20s yeah and what size tire are you running got on got uh 235 by 35 on it at the moment 235 35 20 yeah and yeah. um on the 19 inch wheels that you've got the banning steels you run a yeah so the the front's a 9j yeah so i run a 235 on them and the rear's a 10j and i run a 245 on them yeah you know, so it's quite a stretch on those tires then there, there is a stretch you know you can run 225s yeah okay, on the nines which yeah. you know a lot of people do i know yeah. a few people do and it, it does work well it but works if you want a bit more color in your skin yeah you need two three five yeah, yeah that's because <laughs> you probably go a bit pale when you yeah. might be taking some bends definitely but... yeah yeah um so yeah like the um the 20s on the van at the moment i do prefer 19 inch wheels yeah on a short wheelbase yeah you said that i think 20s look good on a long wheelbase yeah you know the stretch it, it works yeah. better yeah. yes when you got 20s on a short my personal opinion, I just feel it's just, I don't know, they're a little bit too big. Sure. So I, I do personally like the 19s. Yes. So. 
Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah. That's the way that looks. Yeah. I'm sure I've got some shots of yours sitting on those wheels, which yeah. I'll throw up. Um, but yeah, agreed. They're both nice wheels. I, yeah. I, I think they actually both suit it because you did ask what wheels yeah. you might put on for this. And I said, whatever you think. But we have got some shots of your van on the banded steels. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice to and see. The good thing is those two wheels give the van two totally different looks. Big time. Which I was seeing trying to you achieve. going along on that road earlier, I thought there's no two vans like that. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know what about makes and things, but I know a few people that have got banded steels on yeah. this because obviously it's a safe option yeah. in terms of everybody will like it. Yeah. And you've been uh, brave to take on something new that's not been out long. Yeah, well, see, it's something to be different, have a go, like yeah. a new year, you know, a new look. Yeah. But, um, the steels will be going back on soon. <laughs> yeah, what I tend to throw my black wheels on for the winter time and the silver ones uh, go on from sort of April to November. Do you have a theme with what you're doing or just when you feel like just it? Just when I feel like it, when I've yeah. got five minutes and I'll, I'll be washing the van on the drive and I'll be like, I'm gonna change your wheels and they just come off. There's, yeah. there's, there's not, I don't have winter wheels or stuff like that. No. Um, so it depends, you know. Whatever the mood takes. Yeah, basically, yeah. So, you know, I'll, I'll run them for a, a while yeah you know get my money's worth out of the tires and then, yes uh, yeah 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 so. well saying when you've got more than one set of wheels you don't tend to go through tires as much because you swap them about that's right, you're not yeah. running one set of tires down and yes yeah. i guess there's some people that actually go to the trouble of swapping tires to put the other wheels on but i tend to buy them with tires myself yeah so i usually buy the alloys and then try to get the fitment right for the van yeah you know just you know you yeah. buy tire packages but i, I want to try to get what's right you know, yeah there's a lot more wheel. going into yours because of the fact of airing out and yeah. the level some wits you know with some people they may not actually go to those levels on the suspension so they can more or less put any of those wheels on and any That's of those right, tire yeah. sizes but these are what you call low down third world problems yeah well yeah pretty much yeah That's you've got it. to have yeah. everything right and i get a lot of questions on my um channel about wheel and tire fitment mm. because of my journey with air ride yeah because i was you've you're a lot more knowledge on it than i am and have had more experience with other vehicles and things uh so you know what to look out for but as you probably you know, know full well i had some issues on my yeah. own yeah different t two sets of wheels were no good they needed to be moved on to buy new wheels and um, I shared that with the YouTube audience but yeah. yeah you're a bit more you're further on than me because you've done you've got other vehicles and had air on other previous yeah, vehicles that's it like fitment is always to me fitment's got to be tight as you can yeah and not crumple anything up when yeah air out you know yeah. so the look for me tight fitment is that's what I look for what's the story with the audio so the audio basically went into my local electrician for yeah. uh, had the fuse kept blowing. So they had a look at it, um, and from them having a look at the fault of the fuse blowing, they called me in and offered me a sponsorship All right. for an audio in-store on the van. Right. And I was like, how much is, does it cost? <laughs> is, you know. And they said, basically nothing. We install all your audio, and you just promote us on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. So Theo at uh, MotoQuip, um, done a great job. Um, fit Blam Audio all the way through the van. Nice, Custom, Blam. Blam, Blam Audio. Yeah, it's a French audio. Yeah. That's their kind of brand they're pushing. Yes. Um, works really well. Yeah. So they put eight inch speakers in the doors. Um, the door pillars themselves have had blam mid range and tweeters put in. Yes. Um, so in the in the actual where the windscreen is, where I saw those nice yeah. pods, they, those speakers yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. So they've done those. Um, there's two mini amps and a bass controller in the cupboard, and the amps are basically like three inches big now. They're really so tiny. Really. Yeah. Yeah, because so they used to be huge. Used to take a whole boot up, didn't they? Years yeah, ago. like yeah. the Alpine V12, right, which yeah. was the whole back end yeah. of the Ford Orion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So they're really small and dainty. Right. Uh, and then there's a 10 inch sub under the rock and roller bed. Nice. Boarded. And then on the barn doors, there's two six inch speakers down below as well. Yeah. Um, I said I didn't want anything massively on show again, because, yeah. like, you know, it, it's got to be functional for yes. what you need it for. Yeah. So they've managed to hide everything nicely, trying to make it look factory as it can. Yeah. 
And yeah, Theo's done a great job. Yeah, I've had no idea you've got a sub in there, so that's really discreet. Yeah, and amps, none yeah. of that. Whereas, like you say, it's usually in your face. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so like the front door cards, yeah. everything's in behind them. Nothing's been built out. You know, so you can't we didn't see really go it. massive with it, but yeah. it just gives a nice depth of sound. Yes. Um, and then you know, if you're a weekend away, we've got a button in the back you can flick, and it'll run off the solar. Yes. So you, all your audio will play just off solar panel. Wow, that's so you a don't good idea. Kill your battery. In yeah. So, so if you're static and you're camped up and you're running it without realizing, you're not going to end up. No. So yeah, you taking your engine yeah, battery out. Yeah, so you can out. still get home. Right. Um, but you know, you can have it playing all day. And they did all that. Did all that. Yeah. That's clever. Yeah. So they've done yeah. a nice job. Make that makes a lot of sense because that's what catches a lot of people out in camper vans. Yeah. That's is right. running the radio when they're sitting having a drink yeah. off the original radio. I've done it many a times. Yeah. 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 And then um, and then failing to start when they want to pack up to go home. That's correct. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's it's good. Like when you you know you're at a festival show. Yeah. And you got your friends around. You can have the music playing. Yeah. And you got sun in the evening, and it's just free electric. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah, well, that sounds like a good system. So, is there anything more that you've got planned for this van? Um, plan for the van. I say no, but there's always something, you know. You see something. Every time I say it's done, someone else has to be done. I look at big brake kits at the front. Quite like the look of that. Yeah. Have you done anything to the brakes that are on it right now? No. Well, I can highly recommend New Texa. Yeah. As you know, I'm running their yeah. systems and they're going well so far. Oh, so good. If you find yourself in the market, New Texa, big brake kit, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep them in mind. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, potentially mess around with the brakes then. Um, yeah, and then I think that's probably it really, you know. Yeah. Um, I've got other projects on the go. When you say projects, you're talking vehicles? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a show car being built at the moment, um, which hopefully will be done in about two months. Nice. Fully done. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're going to see some videos of it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but um, yeah, looking forward to getting that Maybe done. Maybe bring the secret uh, vehicle back onto the channel when you've built it. Yeah, maybe. It'd be nice to sit yeah. down again and share some content yeah. on that. I think you might see it on the channel when it's done. Well, we can look forward to that. But uh, yeah, well, I did have a Mark 1 Golf, which I've sold now. Yes. 78, uh, 71 Beetle. So that Mark 1 Golf I've seen pictures on. You got any pictures in the in the media bank that I might be able to throw up on the channel? Yeah, there'll be some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, a, a lovely Golf, that Mark 1, big bumper big convertible, bumper. wasn't it? Yeah, GTI. Yeah. yeah. I've got pictures when I bought it. Had no roof. The three panels were totally different colours. It was really rough. And uh, yeah, when it was done, I had a full paint job. Yeah. Roof. What I saw of that vehicle, it looked lovely. Real yeah, it was nice. a nice car. Yeah. yeah. But you can't keep them all. No, you yeah. can't. No, you've got to sort of, if you want to do another project, it can't stay with you or you do it and you keep it forever. That's right. But yeah. you're a projects man, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, and I just enjoy it like, with the van, you know. I enjoy, I'm not a guy who can just sit down and watch telly and stuff. I'd rather be out yeah. doing something to it. Yeah. And when the van was all pretty much finished, um, yeah, I wanted to get on with this car now. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that is that's ongoing as That's going to be epic. From yeah, what we can't share right now because it's a bit bit um, low key. <laughs> yeah, I don't on the down say, low, yeah, as yeah, you say, yeah. but it's it's. But people on the Instagram probably know what it is anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, people but, that know you are going to know. But. Yeah, so yeah, it'd be good when it's done. Yeah, and it's um, there'd be no family or children allowed in that no, one. No, that one's not going to have sand in the back. No. So no. Um, the mystery will be revealed when you finished and got it to the stage where you'd like to come back and love to have it on this channel yeah, to feature 100%. it because uh, I think everybody would like it as yeah. I do know what it is. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, so we've got that to come when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say a massive thank you again then for coming up and bringing your van to do this feature. Is there any uh, sponsors or firms that you want to plug uh, and your own, perhaps your own Instagram? Okay, so yeah, I'd want to thank MotoQuip yeah. for the audio install. Yeah. Uh, that's Theo. Yeah. I want to thank Jared for yeah. doing the paint work on the van. Yes. And helping me out on other projects I've had over the years. Yeah. I want to thank my wife Lisa for being very patient, putting up with me changing the wheels every couple of months and stuff yeah. like that. But she's great. She gets it. You know, um, my Instagram, yeah. if you want to follow, yeah, uh, is J O D T five nineteen eighty four. I'll throw that up on screen. Yeah, you'll be able to see 
some of the progress of the van, you know, yeah. when I bought it and yeah. other cars I'm working on and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it'd be good to, you know, follow other people with the same passion. Absolutely, um, yeah. If you're on Instagram, you want to follow James and see if further progress or any of the pictures that he's got, do go and give him a follow. And um, we'll, we'll call that a wrap then. Yeah, yeah, it's been a great day. really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah and I we'd be keen to see what the mystery car is on this channel when you finished it. It'll be coming. Yeah. It'll be definitely coming up here, yeah. Yeah, watch yeah. this space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I was really excited to shoot that brand new series to come to the channel where I'll be featuring other people's vans and talking about their project. What better way to kick it off than with James's beautiful T5. And uh, what a guy. So yes, if you've liked that, please drop that in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this. I've been excited to bring this to the channel. I'd be interested to hear what you think. Um, much more content in the pipeline, filmed quite a bit of stuff coming to the channel real soon. But uh, yeah, please do like and share the video because it really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks for watching.